Morning guys, it's Chris from thedaxtrader.co.uk and it is Tuesday, uh, I believe it's the 25th, it is. And this is the DAX Technical Analysis. We've just done a uh, our premium webinar, which you can join at 7 o'clock most mornings. Today it was half past 7 and this is going to be the quick summary. So today we pretty much started from fresh on the charts. We took away all the lines and reset all of the chart book back to basics and ran through it all and built it from scratch. We ran through the following. So the daily chart, we rebuilt this trend channel uh, from this recent major swing high, which would be up there at the 13,150 on futures, 13,158. And it was a down sloping high to high trend line, taking this guy into consideration and expanding through. You then take a parallel of that line, put it under here and connect it to this low here and it will give you the rest of price action. So we're currently towards the top of that line and there were two things I mentioned and that is when we get towards channel resistance, it's an interesting turning point, but also when we come back to test the underside of an overall value area, which is what this area is, I've taken a composite from this high down to this low. That shows you where the majority of the volume was and it's probably no coincidence that we're starting to find a top there. <clears throat> now, a lot of analysts are saying that 12,582 is the significant area. I don't believe it is on this particular chart, and that's not my opinion. That's a fact. And that is a fact simply because uh, that's a high, that's a low. That is a lower high because this low was broken and taken out here to confirm that as a lower high. This isn't a low and that isn't a high simply because that didn't break this and uh, that didn't break that. So this is just a pause. It would be a minor swing, but not in my opinion on the daily chart, a major swing. So really we've got to break 869 for that to be significant in my opinion. If we break 11848, then it will confirm this as a major swing high but we've got to break that. So really one of those two levels has to go 848 or 860, uh, 11848 or 12869, all right? Now I don't trade off the daily chart, I just wanted to clarify how to work out the swings and we're currently in this swing and the two different types are impulse waves, which is the, the, the main, uh, normally the direction of the trend. Then you have a reaction wave and then followed by an impulse wave and then a reaction wave, impulse wave, reaction wave, so on and so on until the trend reverses. We are currently in a bullish reaction wave and possibly coming towards the top of that. We talked about this briefly yesterday as well, but zooming in on this bullish reaction wave, we'll split that up into the two minor sections, which would be wave one and minor wave two. And two things that are interesting, we have decreasing ask volume between the two waves, but yet the second wave has accelerated and is more aggressive than the first, but it's done so on declining volume. So that's interesting. Conversely, we have two minor uh, swings, if you like pullback swings within this major, uh, major bullish wave. And these, minor pullback swings here are on increasing volume so we've got a disparity here we've we've got the bullish waves on decreasing volume and we've got the bearish waves on increasing volume so we'll find out how significant that is down the line but this is now confirmed today after a break below um 320 i think got down at what well, it says there got down as low as 305 this morning and quite a reaction we saw as well so we'll zoom in a little bit more here. The idea that we were playing with was this one, which is that we would get a move, uh, either a bounce away from the shaded area, which is a low volume zone here based on this overall uh, swing from the lows. Okay, the whole thing. That's where the low volume area is. So that generally tends to make price re respond in one of two ways. It either gets a bounce out of that zone because it re is, is repelled from that level. It doesn't want to trade in there. Or it zooms straight through it and reaches an area of balance or value area of, of, from the past, which would be down here. So if there were some opportunities to short, assuming that this isn't just a... Um, a rejection of those levels and we're now going to go out and take four, 445 and so on and so on and continue to the upside then a, a target to the downside would be one of these value areas 
here. Okay, we break through that 300 level, we could be in price discovery mode, which is where we would take out that zone and find the next value area. And that would be the zone I would imagine it would get to, but we'll see. We looked at the profile from yesterday and uh, only observations really is that the point of control was in the lower half of the value area, which was central to the profile. And uh, we've already kind of filled that zone out for today. If you want the numbers, pause the video here. There they are. And we spent some time just explaining the difference between a volume profile and a TPO profile, specifically to explain the difference between the two. Uh, it's important because I'm actually using the point of control from a volume profile, but I'm putting it over a TPO profile. So for those not familiar, don't worry. But for those who are, that's the reason why it looks like that. And I've expanded uh, my exposed points of control all the way to the end until future intersection. Um, and we'll notice that today we actually tagged that point of control from Thursday. So that was interesting. Uh, was it a coincidence that it bounced from there? I don't think so. Right, guys, so there's lots of stuff to go through. Some of this I know is quite technical. Some of it is potentially a little bit uh, advanced. Um, but for those who do use these tools already, the webinars will be incredibly useful for you. Come and join us uh, in the morning. They generally take place at seven o'clock. If you like the content that we're doing here, then please subscribe to the channel. Click up here. Um, we've got some additional videos for you over here, and I'll try and get a link to the website on this uh, little end screen at the end of the video as well. Um, the webinars, as I say, normally take place at seven o'clock in the morning, maybe sometimes uh, seven thirty. But join us. Click the webinar link uh, in the description below, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Have a great trading day, guys, and take care. See you later.